Welcome to the final project of Advanced Robotics. Students are building a sumo bot, but it's got to be controlled by a remote control, and there has to be a little steering wheel on the remote control. The remote control is one other brick, and they've connected them via Bluetooth. They've been working on it for several weeks. The steering wheel aspect of it was probably the hardest part, um, but they had three different types of builds they could do, uh, ranging from simplest to medium to most complex to actually program. The first option was having a two wheels robot. Having two wheels to worry about in code is is a lot simpler than working with four wheels. I'm just gonna drive off. How's your, how's your don't, don't talk to me. <laughs> the other type had two wheels that controlled power and then two wheels, let's put it up here, two wheels that are controlled by a medium motor, kind of this little steering chassis right there. This group decided to program their gyro sensor so that whenever it turned, it would control the movement of this motor. So go ahead and turn it. Oh God. And so left, right, left. It's not perfect, but it definitely gets the job done. And then these were, what is this? Forward, forward backwards? Yeah. Okay. Now the most complex build is a couple groups did this, where they have four different wheels, all of them attached to large motors. And so what they have to do to actually turn is see, okay, if they're going forward, the two front ones have to be positive power and the two back ones have to be negative power. But to turn left, these two left ones need to go in this direction and those two need to go in that direction. But that's negative and that's positive power and that's negative and that's positive positive power and then all of that reversed to turn right and in addition to just kind of keeping all that straight they are trying to make sure that all the messages sent by this this is their forward this is their steering appropriately get received by this box. it's going pretty good I just learned how to understand everything you just figured this fast with out yeah he had some code he's just just now figuring out what needs to be positive power and what needs to be negative power. What is the red block doing? It's, no, I didn't. it's supposed to be multiplying okay. um, the, uh, the 100 power by a uh, negative one to make it a negative number. And then where and does then that power go? It feeds it into the right motor right block, right. Uh, okay. which tells it what to do. Okay. All right, I'll let you finish because you only have like 20 minutes. Oh, wait, really? A few people have also realized that if you just keep opening and closing your computer and never actually closing the program, it doesn't end up saving a lot of your work. But they know what they need to do. It's so a we'll race see. against time. It's a race against time. We're doing good. He's, yes. we're, we're getting there. And okay. then we have to build the remote code, so I think we actually might have a chance here. Okay, do you need any help? No, no, thank you. Okay, bye. I just don't know how to make it, you know, stay there. <laughs> so you've already got your program. Which kind of build do you have? Uh, the actual thing with Jiggy. Okay. Oops, this is falling off. Yeah, that, that's not very good, <laughs> is it? <laughs> She's got the axle, and like just like the second group where this turns, controlled by the medium motor. Can you kind of tell me how this works? Okay, so if I turn this this way, then that will go this way if the thing's on. And then, and then um, if I press this button, it would go forward. I'm making my robot more sumo-like because um, that's part of the grade and I didn't realize that. And Whoops. Carl isn't very sumo-like. Arms, maybe? Uh, yeah, to whack people. Okay. with the brick buttons here, would I do measure or compare? Because I need to, because when I do compare, I can't plug it in. <laughs> hey, I'm busy vlogging over here. <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have time to help you. <laughs> Wait, so, but then, 
What do I do? What if you said wait until the back one's pressed and then when that one's pressed, Press? take your motor button and then multiply it by negative one. Wait, I'm confused at what that would do. Your message. Your yeah. message move is sending out a signal, right? What number is that move block sending? 50. 50. If you multiply that by negative one, what's going to happen? It'll be negative 50. Okay. What? It works. Oh. Okay. What do you so want you to want to you want to measure the degrees. degrees of this thing. Because yeah, because if it's at if this is zero degrees and then this is like forward a certain amount of degrees, then you're gonna feed that into a message that says power. It doesn't need to be in this switch. Okay. It needs to be in a loop though. Yeah. Sophia, Sam, you guys are starting in one minute. Make your way. The way this will work. We just true stuff. If you the first person to knock the other person off of the black table. Two out of three times. Oh, two, well, there's three Win. get something together, they'll be yeah. able to compete. If and not, they'll like unfortunately have to forfeit. <laughs> and, uh, that's unfortunately, their computer is lagging, so I don't know if it's... Oh! Sam seems to be really upset about this. <laughs> yes. Don't, 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 don't. It's going, it's going, it's going. Right, download, download. Yes! All right. Okay, and then... Let's see if it actually works. It's not going to work. Yes, yes! I don't know if it's going to work. Second chances bracket is starting to dwindle down. Also, waste of time. Why was it a waste of time? It didn't even move. Ah, uh, well, I guess you guys can figure it out before you turn in the actual code. And so that is the last project of my advanced robotics course. This is the first time I've done advanced robotics. These are all students that have been in my basic robotics class that I've been teaching. We have about a week and a half left of school. What I think I'm going to do is have them do a presentation where they kind of talk about how they ended up programming it and what went well and what they would have changed. And we've also been learning Python on a website called CodeHS. 
which they will be having a few modules do by the end of the semester as well. And the final like small little grade will be them sorting their kits, uh, which will end up being, hello, welcome. Hey Tom. It'll be them finishing up their code HS, them finishing up their kit sorting, which will be pretty important because a lot of them ended up sharing pieces for this final project if they partnered up with somebody. That's Advanced Robotics. Uh, I'll probably be making a few changes next year, but it ended up being, I think, a pretty good final project. Bye, Cole. Bye, Tom. <laughs>